All right, everybody, so I'm gonna answer a question that was put to me, how to move from beginner to advanced. So I'm gonna to jump to the second paragraph. I am mostly focused on Python and C++. I know some of the web stack. Let's say I would like to make a simple game or an online media player or a GUI app or whatever else. And I've highlighted the main point in blue. I can go and do some Google searching and for sure, I will find some tutorials describing or showing how to do it. But the question is, is it fair? Is it okay to look at someone else's work and making it in a similar way? I'm adding a little bit there. Maybe this is a stupid question, but I really don't know. I'm paraphrasing. So last paragraph. Isn't it sort of cheating or is it the way that beginners and, excuse me, quote, false beginners move forward by imitating others. I really appreciate your answer. So um, it's not cheating. Everything that you see in this world, whether it be software development, music, martial arts, whatever, it's all based on other people's work. Now, if you're stealing it line for line, that's bad. It's illegal and it's immoral. But if you're learning how to do something, somebody puts out a tutorial. I put out a, tor a tutorial out there, or uh, people like uh, Brad Travers, he puts out a good tutorial out there. He's, he's, one, he's probably the best that I've seen out there on YouTube. I would recommend him. Um, yeah, I would recommend you do Foundations with me, and then you got, you're going to have everything that you need from there. And then if you want to specialize in, let's say, Node or something else, check out Brad. He's got a whole bunch of tutorials on YouTube and elsewhere. And it's a good compliment. When I was learning how to code, I went to different people. When I was learning martial arts, I went to different people. When I was learning business, I had different mentors. So that makes sense. Anyway, it's now. So it's not cheating to do a tutorial and then to base, based off of that tutorial, tutorial, you build your own app. You, you know, unless they give you specific permission to copy the code, then don't copy the code. But uh, you could basically learn from it and then write your own thing accordingly. At the end of the day, the reason there's so much coders out there is because when it comes to applications, uh, one size uh, does not fit all. Everybody's got their own particular needs and so forth. And when you try to write an app that can satisfy many different specific business, business requirements, the apps become insanely complex and huge. Uh, just look at S SAP. SAP, if you don't know, is, I think they're the third largest software manufacturer in the world. And to just install SAP could take six months to a year. Just to install it, that's how complex it is. But that's because the SAP software, and they have different modules and so forth, it's trying to adapt. It has to adapt to many different business needs. So besides the customizations that they would do uh, to use their, their big apps, they got all kinds of settings and configurations that have to be done. This is super complex. Anyway, back to the question I had. Is it cheating to use somebody else's work as the basis of your own? Well, if they're putting out a tutorial, they're putting out a tutorial so that you can learn from it, right? So to, to learn from it is not cheating. To copy their code and then to use that code in production, well... If you do that, that could be a problem unless they give you permission to use their code in production. But chances are you wouldn't be able to use their code in production. So you would learn from it, do the tutorial, and then from there, uh, you, 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 you'll, you'll have an idea of how to build something. And then from there, you write your own code uh, from scratch, if unless you have permission otherwise. But that's not cheating. That's how you learn. That's how you learn. In uh, music, you learn by uh, doing your basics in music and scales and so forth. This has all been invented by previous people, right? The scales didn't come out of nowhere. Uh, martial arts too, you know, how to punch and kick and grapple and all the techniques that you learn, all the submissions. They didn't come out of nowhere. Somebody came up with these things, right? So, you know, that's, so that's perfectly fine.